All right, YouTube, what's going on? I want to compare these two red dot systems, which are not really red dots. They're more like uh, magnified optics with uh, crosshairs. They're, they got two different crosshairs. This U whatever Q has a uh, crosshair, like a T, and this one has the arrow. And uh, they're both 4x32. They're the boxes. One came with two extra batteries, the one with the arrow. And the other one just put one. But it's basically the same box, made in probably the same place in China. Uh, however, they have different names. This one says Westlake, and this one, U, U something Q, whatever. And they got a fiber optic in the front. And you could use that at the rear side here. And I kind of did, but the, the problem to me was the dot looked kind of big. And I was firing close range. But I got to say, I did like the one with the arrow more. And I'll show you the radical right now. The reason I liked that over the standard one, the standard here, as you can see, the crosshairs are too close to each other. It's supposed to be a range finder. And the problem with that is, and I don't think this is accurate because the 0, 100 is way too close to the 200, 300 yard. And it's not even no difference at all, even the 400. So I think they just did that in a hurry. However, in the in this one, you can see that that the top of the triangle is a, a zero to a hundred. The inside of the triangle is um, two hundred, and the top of the line there is basically three hundred. And then you can see the numbers barely four five six but they're sprayed out more down than in your typical crosshair which you can't even see that at all and it's supposed to be the same distance marking so i i don't think this is accurate i will use this more for like a red dot more than a long range accuracy but in reality like the 0 to the 300 marker, they're so close, you know. So, yeah. And, yeah, for the top, like, it's pretty cool to have that fiber optic. That's why I got this. And I was shooting this with a Caltech SU-16. And I uh, cannot complain. Uh, I experienced a jam on my Caltech because I was shooting a uh, steel case. But I did shoot quite a lot of steel case until I got a jam in there. And I don't know if it was my sister's malfunction or mine. But nevertheless, I got stuck on an empty case. And I had to like put a rod through the barrel to take it out. But I do recommend a crosshair that has the, this kind of arrow down there. That arrow. Instead of the... The circle's okay, but I don't even have the middle dot. But the one I have here is a little bit different. It's not even here either. But it's just some crosshairs, and uh, I don't think it's uh, accurate, an accurate representation of real life uh, distance. So yeah, there you have it. This you can get for around sixty, under sixty bucks on uh, Amazon or eBay. Uh, I got this on. Amazon, I believe. I think I got them both on eBay, actually. But you can find them on Amazon and get them delivered quicker, even if you have to pay a little bit more. Uh, I recommend, like I said, the Arrow, and they have three settings, blue, red, and green, which is pretty cool. Uh, actually, yeah, I believe one has red and green and the other one. The one with the Arrow has three colors, blue, red, and green so that's pretty cool all right people uh, i gotta go
Um, if you're looking for a decent, you want to spend too much money. Uh, they hold zero pretty well. Uh, I was shooting five by six only, but um, it works. So there you have it. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye bye.